Hey up. Benny Vapes here, not with a vapor related video this time. So if you're looking for vapor related content, it's just a little video not about vapor related. It's about OBS and Zoom. So I had a problem when I first started using Zoom and OBS that when I downloaded it, went onto it, and I got a white screen when I put my window capture on. So it was it was causing nothing. And a lot of people are having this problem, and I could find nothing on the internet, nothing on YouTube, nothing on forums or anything like that. I had to really search around to try and solve this problem. And I was told a lot of things that you could do. You could use game capture that doesn't always work. You could use um, an older version of Zoom, and you could use an older version of OBS, and marry them both up, and then it'll work. And then next time, it, you had to mess around with it all the time and downgrade it. So... I did find this on a forum, just really digging. So it's to do with your settings on Zoom, and it's not to do with OBS. So if you think it's OBS, it's not. It's to do with your settings on Zoom. So what you've got to do is I will show you. We'll go over onto my desktop, and I will show you that. And it's only a little thing, and it works for me, and it's worked for other people that I've told about. So I'll show you my screen. You'll see me here now. There you go. So. We'll go on to here and I'll just show you. Up in the top right hand corner on the new version of um, Zoom, you'll get settings. So what you get now is this comes up. So on there you've got general video audio and everything like that. You need to click on to video and you should see me again. There you go. And this is what I, you're seeing that I'm recording on now. When you go over there, if you've up upgraded to the new version of Zoom, you do need the new version of Zoom to do this. The old version, you can't do it because it misses out the advanced button. So upgrade your version to the newest version of Zoom. Click on, on advance. And then what you get now is four check boxes up here. Leave them all checked. And then underneath here, you get video rendering method. And yours will be set to auto. That's what you get. So if you've got auto, what you need to change it to is, I've changed it to GDI. I don't know if any of the other settings work, but I've just changed it to the GDI. And then underneath that, you can have video rendering post-processing, auto or enabled. Click on enabled. And then underneath that, video capturing method, that will also be in auto. And you have direct show or media foundation. I've changed it to media foundation. These are the settings that have worked for me. I haven't tried the other ones, but these are the ones that worked for me when I changed them. I don't think it matters what you change them to, but if you do them like I do, and have them on GDI, enabled, and video foundation, you will then find that you don't get the white screen in OBS anymore, and you will get just normal. No white screen and you can now work it so you can update your obs and you can update your zoom so i hope you found this bit informative it is just me putting out to you because i couldn't find anything so i hope it is it has helped someone and i hope it helps people everybody i've told so far it's worked for them so put a comment in if it's worked for you if it didn't work for you you know and if you're a tech guy share it out there i'm not bothered I, it's my first bit of tech and it was just to give back to people um, because I couldn't find it. It took me ages. It took me about a week to find out how to do it. So I hope you find this on YouTube. If you do like it, thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, if you're out of vapor, then please subscribe. If you're not, it'd be nice to have a subscription anyway and just put me in your box and forget about me. <laughs> but yeah, I hope it helps you out. Thumbs it up if you think it did and let me know in the comments if it worked for you. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.